So today I'm going to do the If You Like This tag created by the lovely Jen Campbell and this tag involves me picking five to ten reasonably well-known books and following them up with a suggestion of another book that I think you might like if you like this book. A really excellent idea and actually something I'd like to get in the habit of doing when I review books. I've managed to pick a few books for you and I hope you enjoy the tag. So the first book I have on my list is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and I feel like this book has had quite the popularity on booktube at least um, over the past few months. It's a collection of five short stories in graphic novel form all with a kind of like horror fairy tale-esque um, plot. I mean I think the two most important elements of this book are the beautiful art and the incredible sense of unease and eeriness that it gives you when you're reading it. So for example here are some of the illustrations in this one, like so. I mean you can just see from the front how beautiful this book is. So if you enjoyed this book or think you would enjoy this book then I also think you would enjoy this book which is a recent read for me and it's Tinder by Sally Gardner. Although this is not a graphic novel it is a heavily illustrated book and I'm sure you can tell from the front how beautiful the illustrator David Roberts illustrations are. So if I show you some of those we have that and he uses a very limited palette of blacks, whites and reds and again this is just very much a creepy fairy tale and both are in a similar vein and have a very magical yet unnerving atmosphere. The next book I have is also in a fairy tale um, genre and that is the infamous Grimm Brothers fairy tales. I am sure you're all aware of this book if you haven't read it or have only read a few and this is a collection of very traditional fairy tales including some of the most well-known ones such as Cinderella and Rapunzel. Now I think if you enjoy a very traditional fairy tale short story then I think if you haven't read it already then you will absolutely adore Italo Calvino's Italian folk tales. Obviously I read them in translation published by Penguin and obviously it's quite a beaten up copy but I absolutely adored these stories. They're some of my absolute favourite fairy tales and it even says on the back there was no equivalent to the Grimm brothers in Italy until El Talo Calvino. Highly, highly recommend checking this volume out. And sticking with the short fairy tales, short stories, then we are going to next go for Angela Carter's The Bloody Chamber. These are all retellings of traditional fairy tales, an emphasis on the female characters. Now, if you enjoyed this, or think you would have enjoyed this, then I think you will also enjoy Kissing the Witch by Emma Donoghue, which is also a retelling of traditional fairy tales, again with a heavy focus on the females of these stories and quite often an LGBT spin, um, which was really enjoyable to read and I absolutely adored this collection. And like, it's not very long, much like um, Angela Carter's, it's quite a quick one to get through and just a really wonderfully well written read, I think. Um, if you enjoy one author's writing style, you'll probably enjoy the other. Now veering away from the fairy tale theme, um, the next book I have here is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Now again, you have all heard of Jane Eyre for absolute certain. And if you did enjoy this story, then I think you will also enjoy Sunset Song by Lewis Grassett Gibbon. Now this is a bind up of all three of his um, novels um, following the same character, which is called A Scots Queer. But I haven't actually read the other two. Sunset Song is set at the beginning of the 1900s and follows a young woman, Chris Guthrie, as she grows up, finds herself, finds out who she is. And that's what I feel um, makes it resemble Jane Eyre. For me, Jane Eyre was very much a story about Jane finding herself and being a female doing this, um, which I thought was really wonderful. I really enjoyed her journey. And I think that's what's so predominant in um, A Sunset Song is Chris's um, finding herself and also making some very important life decisions for her future. Strong but vulnerable young women and I think um, in that she resembles Jane Eyre. The next pair I have to show you is a little bit of a cheeky one and that is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe which again you'll all have heard of and you'll probably have heard of this book as well but not so many of you will have read it, and that is The Magician's Nephew. As I'm sure most of you are aware, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is actually the second in the Chronicles of Narnia. 
but definitely the one most of us are familiar with. It's, and it is true that it is a wonderful standalone story. However, if you enjoyed this and haven't checked any of the other Chronicles of Narnia out yet, I would highly recommend reading the first of the series, and that is The Magician's Nephew. Again, it is a standalone story, you don't need to read them together, and in fact I read this one after I read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, and what I found so magical and enjoyable about reading The Magician's Nephew is not only was it a wonderful story, but um, the insight I got into The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, um, so much of um, the events in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe were set up in um, The Magician's Nephew, you get an introduction to Narnia, the characters, they're what happened beforehand um, in the world of Narnia between Aslan and the White Witch and why some of the things are the way they are. And the next up is for those fans of the Song of Ice and Fire series or the Game of Thrones series as it's often called by George R.R. R. Martin. Again, you all know it. And I think if you enjoy that, you should check out The Rainworld Chronicles by Robin Hobb, beginning with Dragon Keeper. Now this is again an epic fantasy series with multiple perspectives and it has that element of being written for adults in that it doesn't shy away from discussing sex and violence, so that's good to check out. However, it is slightly nicer than Game of Thrones if you're looking for something like that. There are, there is a lot less rape um, and a lot more positive relationships in this story which I enjoyed. It's also a high fantasy rather than a low fantasy story with a lot of dragons so I think if you're looking for something with a bit more boom in the fantasy department after enjoying the Game of Thrones series and just a really intriguing mix of um, exciting characters then I would highly recommend checking out this series. And I wanted to finish up this video by doing the blasphemous thing and that is recommending to you something that is similar to Harry Potter which we apparently compare everything to nowadays. The book I want to recommend to you is in fact uh, the Charlie Bone series which begins with Midnight for Charlie Bone and this is a children's book series so I think in particular I would compare it to the first three Harry Potter books before it kind of becomes more of a YA story and it's just a book series that I really enjoyed around the same time as I got into Harry Potter so if you still enjoy children's literature then I would che recommend checking this out obviously don't get too much into the comparison between the two but I would recommend it and it is about a magical school or at least a school where a um, group of the students are magical. Not everybody in the school has a magical ability but those descended from a certain um, line of people possess magical powers. So if you want a story following a young boy who goes to a um, boarding school where magic is roaming then check it out. Don't compare it too much just know that you might like it. <laughs> and those are all the books I wanted to recommend to you in this video. I probably could have gone on for a bit longer doing this. It's a really fun activity, but I'm going to stop here and instead I'm going to tag some people. First, I'm going to tag Charlotte from Char's new chapter. Then I'm also going to tag Lorna from Suddenly Lorna. I am going to tag Nicola from Robotnik. I'd also like to tag Ron Lip because nobody rocks a tag video like she does. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and have a lovely week. Bye guys.